The world is full of good news. The following are just a few. Venezuela's President Hugo Chavez welcomes Colombian President Juan Manuel Santos at the Presidential Palace in Caracas, where they discuss restoring bilateral trade and sign an agreement on energy projects. During a meeting with Hindu religious leaders of Gampaha district in Sri Lanka's western province, Prime Minister D. M. Jayaratna announces the government's plans to ban animal sacrifices at religious events across the country. President Dimitris Christofias of Cyprus welcomes Syrian President Bashar al-Assad and Mrs. Asma al-Assad for the first visit by a Syrian president to Cyprus, with the two leaders affirming their country's warm relations as they pledge to enhance cooperative ties. Six-year-old Formosan or Taiwanese child pianist Yu Sung-tzu performs wearing a blindfold, impressing television audiences across the island with his self-taught piano skills. U.S. scientists at the University of California, San Diego, and the University of Michigan jointly develop new technology that measures electrical brain activity during physical movement, which they hope to be able to harness as neural signals that can move body limbs. As part of his Asia tour, United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki Moon visits China and meets with President Hu Jintao for discussion of key topics such as climate change, the Korean Peninsula, and Africa. The government of Tanzania announces a waiving of visa requirements for Saudi citizens who hold diplomatic or special passports. Across southern France, where bullfighting has historically been popular, more and more rallies are being held that reflect a growing feeling toward protecting the lives of the bulls. To safeguard public health, a total smoking ban is implemented across all Greater Western Area Health Service campuses in the state of New South Wales, Australia. The United Nations Environment Program, or UNEP, launches the Young Environmental Journalist Award Africa to encourage youth toward becoming a new voice for the continent's life-conserving and sustainable future.